such a good foundation. I believe Laura Mercier discontinued that formula. I used it probably 15 times and I finally emptied it. So that is gone. It has been the biggest struggle. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, welcome. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my project pan update number two and just kind of a little chit chat and catch up on pregnancy. I am <clears throat> literally less than a month away from giving birth and it has been definitely the hardest trimester for me. I had, you know, I was really lucky first and second trimester, had a lot of energy and now the fatigue has been just taking over, hence why this has taken me so long to film. I'm super, super bloated and big, but I'm really excited to meet baby girl. Yeah, just praying that everything goes well during delivery and that I can finish this pregnancy off and, and become a mother. So I'm so, so happy. Belated Mother's Day that passed. My last day of work is next week. Um, end of next week so that I can kind of just prep. I'm taking, you know, some annual leave, but I also get three months of maternity leave. So I'm really grateful to my work for that. So, so excited to get there. And honestly, when I filmed the first project pan update, I did actually consistently wear a ton of makeup almost, you know, five, six days a week. I wore makeup and put in the effort, but as I got into third trimester and deeper into it, I definitely have been only wearing makeup maybe like three or four times a week, which might seem like a lot to some of you guys. But for me, I'm like, I never thought I would be in that mindset because I love putting on a full face of makeup because it's really my therapy time. But I definitely feel so fatigued and I'm sure that will continue once I am taking care of a newborn. So I think I'm gonna definitely need to be more efficient and figure out a system because I still do like to put something on so I feel put together and all of that. But needless to say, the bump's huge. I'm feeling good and good spirits. I do have a little bit of a cough as you can tell, I'm pretty nasally. I don't know if it's this Colorado allergy season or what it is. Uh, it's pretty bad. And I definitely want to clear this up before baby girl gets here because I don't want to be like coughing anywhere near her. Um, and I do plan on breastfeeding if possible. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm not like dead set on it. I don't really know much about it either. So I'm just hoping that my body uh, will know what to do for in terms of breastfeeding. And if not, then, you know, there's alternatives. Obviously, I'm, I have some formula already uh, bought and in backup. So comment down below your experiences um, with that. I know it's a controversial topic, so I don't want to cause any sort of disruption or anything but yes so moving on let's get to the video let's get to all the project pan uh updates i actually went through so much i'm missing some items that i think i might have already actually thrown it away during my empties video but we're just gonna go through it i have a whole list here project pan my notes right there so first thing was the max studio this is not really in any particular order but the first thing was a max studio matte fine primer i finished this up yay it's all gone um <clears throat> oh wait there's a little bit left but it's basically it's done so this was such a good primer i think i will buy it again eventually if there's like a sale uh, but i do have a lot of primers and I need to get through those. Also at the end of this, after I show all the progress on the, um, the, the ones that I had in rotation from the first video, I'm going to be adding in a few things because I do have, I did get rid of a lot of stuff and I used up everything. So this is gone. And then next we have the Too Faced Gingerbread Palette. 
and by Too Faced. Uh, as you can see, I do use this shade a lot. It is definitely not close to empty. I'm still gonna keep it because I do love all the shimmery purpley pink shades and everything, but yeah, I used it a total of 12 times since that video. I have some tallies next to it. Um, I did stop in the last like month and a half, I stopped doing that because I wasn't wearing as much makeup and I started using some new stuff that I got from like the Sephora sale. Uh, so yeah, so I did it about 12 times I used it. It was, I mean, it's just a great palette. So and I don't feel it's overly expired. I'm sure it's not recommended to use right now. We'll see, cause I have a couple other palettes that I wanna start using vigorously, like the Carly Bible palette, which I will show you guys later. And I got the Patrick Tom Major Mattes Dimensions palette, so I'd like to dip into that. And then I've been really loving this MAC Neutral Browns palette. So this might just like go out of rotation, cause I did use it. 12 times, I think that's enough. Um, but it's still in my top drawer right here. We shall see on that one. The Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation in Cashew Beige. And I finished this two days ago. It is all gone. I'm not gonna make a mess, because it's pretty messy. I mean, like you could probably squeeze out one more drop, but this is emptied, such a good foundation. I believe Laura Mercier discontinued that formula. I haven't looked in a while, but I used it probably 15 times and I finally emptied it. So that is gone. I'm gonna delete that here. So I know. Next up is this Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Broad Spectrum SPF 50 and it's really great but i did get a couple more spf type of serum foundations and tints so i actually only used this seven times and there's still a tiny bit left it's really light there's not much and with the summer weather i definitely think i could use it five or six more times i'm pretty happy with the progress i made on this so I will probably use it a couple more times and then just, I will finish it though because I don't want to toss it yet. Next up is the L'Oreal Palace Lumi Lotion. Glotion. I probably used this over 20 times and there's very, very little left. You can see like I have to basically squeeze, there's probably this amount left right here, this bottom part. It's just one of my favorite products. I already have two in backup uh, one is a deeper shade for summer because i like that bronzy undertone i feel like every brand is coming out with some sort of glow lotion glowy dew drops just like the drunk elephant um, but this is really good it's super inexpensive and i highly recommend there's tons of sales on ulta i think there was like buy one get one free definitely will keep putting this in rotation into my makeup routine because it's just a fun product to put on. It's really, here. see I really have to like squeeze down on this, but here it is and it's just like a really fun product and it, it gives a little bit of a tint, but you know, if you have really good skin and you don't want, you just want a light color, and glow to your skin. This is awesome. I'm really happy having used it, you know, over 20 times since we last talked about it. Next up is a bunch of concealers that I finally emptied. So I'm actually low on concealers. I think I only have two new ones in back stock, but I used up. Actually, one of them I threw out by accident. Um, the Kosas concealer, I used that completely. I used up the NARS Radiant in, I believe, Custard? Yeah, in Custard. And then I used this e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer, which was already over two years old, maybe three years old. So I'm really happy that got done. So those are emptied. 
wasn't able to finish quite yet is this 24 hour studio fix from Mac and I'm still working through it but you can see there's some there's there's a dent in it for sure I use this one up oh I use this quite a bit 14 times I tallied I use this 14 times and I'm using now a new L'Oreal full coverage concealer that I put in rotation. I don't really use concealer all the time, especially because I want, <laughs> if I'm looking for a really fa fast makeup look, then I don't really, I forget about concealer half the time. So really glad I got through this and I'm gonna keep it in the project pan moving forward. I still wanna finish it definitely before the end of this year. I definitely think I will, but there's just like a lot of product in here. So you're gonna get your money's worth if you buy this and pick this up. It's really full coverage, 24 hour. It's really creamy and hydrating and you, it doesn't dry down very quickly. So I love that about this MAC concealer. So the e.l.f. Putty Primer, gone, finished. Whew. I use this a lot and I love using it. So it wasn't hate using or whatever it's called. I used it uh, probably, I used it probably 18 times or so. I have tallied here 12. I definitely used it a lot more after. It was actually had a decent amount left, but I use it really liberally. And I love that kind of smoothing finish it gives. So I definitely will be picking up another e.l.f. putty primer. I might do the one in the squeeze tube because I do not like always putting my finger in or like a brush to apply. But I'm so excited that I emptied it. I actually already got rid of so much stuff. Some of you guys might have seen in my Sephora haul, my new makeup try-ons was that I finally started using the Huda Beauty Cupcake Powder, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. So I've been going to town on that, using that almost every time I do any sort of, you know, more than natural makeup. But uh, this was in the project pan last time, this um, Revolution Banana Powder. Like all the writing is coming off. It's pretty old actually. I'm definitely gonna declutter this next time, but I will be using it up until the next update I give you guys. But you guys can see, actually the line I drew, I think it was like right here. So I did a about I want to say like a quarter inch of damage to a half inch of damage because I do like liberally pour this out and there's only about less than half the container left so whatever I can use up by the next update then I think I'm going to declutter it because it is getting old and I have other powders that I would like to try. I actually don't buy a lot of loose powder. I have like my Laura Mercier one, oh, which I'll talk about next. I use this, the Makeup Revolution powder I used over 10 times, and I also used this translucent powder over 10 times. Um, there's really not much left in here, and it's just, it's actually getting more difficult to pour out into the cap. So those got plenty of use and I think both of those will be definitely be done in the next three to six months because I'd like to focus more on like the Huda Beauty powder because I really enjoy that formula. I do love both the, the uh, Makeup Revolution and the Laura Mercier powder, but I just wanna keep things moving and you know, get through more products of mine. And we're gonna do a little like shop my stash to see what items we wanna add into the project pan. Okay, and then the Milk Makeup Cream Bronzer. Uh, I used this 12 times and then I decided it was done. Cause as you guys saw from my last video, this applicator came broken when I bought it. Um, and I should've just returned it, but I was too lazy. And it kind of took the, whole point of it being able to just roll on your cheeks and do a quick bronze. Kind of took the whole point out of it when it broke. 
so I didn't enjoy putting it on every time. It was a chore, it was messy, it was getting all over my fingers. So I did use it up as much as I could and it lasted, um, but now it's where I have to like dig in with a small brush and I just kind of am over it and I've got other bronze cream bronzers I wanna get through. So I am tossing this now and considering it done and dusted. Nude Sticks blush I wanted to, in the nude, I have it down, I used it about 10 times. So here it is. So that's how much we have to go. I'm pretty proud of the progress. I actually love this color and it's super pigmented. And so I'm not like in a rush to use it because I will be using it year round. It's just a great color and I am happy with all the progress I made, especially because I bought a ton of blushes and I have a lot of cream blushes to use up. The MAC Studio Fix Plus Powder, which I used 17 times. Here it is. Wow. There's literally not much left. I'm so, so happy about it. I'm really, really excited about it. But I think it has, you know, I can still get pick up the product. So I did actually open up a new one of these in the shade NC30. This is NC25. NC30 is a little bit warmer, but still pretty neutral. So I uh, want to use that up. I'll probably use that up in the next month. Probably has 10 more uses, honestly, because I... I keep like scraping the brush around the outside to get that last bit of product. So I probably will use it for one more month and then it will be done. It's a favorite for many people still. <sighs> yes, okay, so next up is the Kylie Blush Close to Perfect. Okay, and I have it done as 12 times, but I think I used it up probably 20 times more like, and here is the damage. You can see that pan spot is a lot bigger than last time. And it's just a really beautiful kind of mauve pinky color. And honestly, it's such a good blush. I use constantly and I'm excited to finish it, but also like enjoying using it because it is such a beautiful, everyday color. Did finish the Lancome De Finesse Seal Mascara. I don't want to hold on mascara forever. It was starting to dry out and I used it over 11 times. I definitely will be picking up another one probably by the end of the year. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and I really don't like it. It's super clumpy but I just I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's so clumpy and it's messy and I love that the Lancome Defense Seal it define okay whatever I'm botching the name but I really like that it was such a thin wand and just so easy to apply I might pick that one up at the closer to the end of the year and also the new like YSL brown lash I forgot what it's called, but Lash Clash Mascara by YSL. It's like the viral one that everyone is buying. I would love to try that. So I might go for that at the end of the year and pick up that as well as a, another one of the Lancome. The Kylie High Gloss Diva. Right here, yes. Here's the High Gloss Diva. I put this in my little purse toiletry bag. So I used it up six times, but I have so many lippies. So I didn't really want to put a huge like goal for myself. Um, I definitely think I'll finish this by the end of the year. And if not, I'm still going to declutter it because it's already halfway gone. It's one of my favorite colors from Kylie's lip lines. And I'll probably get another one if I run out of it. This is the Il Maquillage Carly Bible one that I really wanted to get through because the lipstick is like damaged but it's such a beautiful mauve brown undertone quite a bit eight times so I got eight times use out of that and the Tom Ford lipstick first time that is in my new car I have a little toiletry bag there and my husband took uh the Tesla today so it's in there and that one 
I have written down four times that I've used and I do pop it on occasionally in the car when we're out like running errands or going out but haven't had that much occasion to use it. It's still pretty good formula and it hasn't broken down yet uh, from what I can see. So I'm gonna still use that throughout the end of the year, but that will definitely be decluttered. I think by my next update because it is getting old and I don't wanna keep putting that on. And I've got so many lippies that I want to get into the project pan so I also will do hopefully a better job editing for next time because I am just like, I'm under the weather a bit, I'm exhausted. And next time I will hopefully be getting my post baby pre-pregnancy body back and just like having a tiny bit more energy, having that extra weight and lugging it around, I think will be such a relief, at least a small relief. Okay, and then we've got the two perfumes I wanted to empty. Although these have kept their strength in smell. This is the Blooming Bouquet and Monsieur, which I would definitely pick up another full size when I finish this. Actually, I haven't sprayed today, so. Oh my God, I love this scent. It's so sophisticated, but it's princessy and sweet and it's just, it's not overpowering, doesn't give you a headache, nothing like that. And then this is a wood sage and sea salt. Quite a bit to go. Uh, definitely, like, don't. These are both expensive perfumes, and I enjoy them a lot. I just love right now, like, the Sol de Janeiro stuff, the sprays, because of summer and the vacation scent. Um, but I still will use these constantly. So definitely not thinking of decluttering them anytime soon. I'm just going to keep working through those and so that I can maybe buy a new one <laughs> uh, next year. So I don't think I'll finish those to be honest till next summer um, just because I have so many Jo Malone's and I have a lot of, you know, the body fragrance sprays. So I would like to get through those as well. And yeah, that is it for the Project Pan update number two. Now the fun part. Thank you so much for watching the video, but now we're gonna go shop my stash here and see what we can put into rotation and work on for next time. Let's try this like foundation face drawer. I definitely wanna use up, I think this, this is almost done. It's a Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. It has SPF 30, especially with the strong sun here in Colorado. I actually have this on my face right now and it's a nice mixer. So we're gonna add this to the rotation. I think we're gonna add this as well. This is so beautiful, I love this. The Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Stromboli. I actually have two new ones of this in my stock again, so I'd like to finish this. There's really not that much left, so we're gonna put this into the rotation. I don't really want to necessarily empty this because they just started, but I want to put this into the pan because I would like to try the, uh, what's it called? Peach pie color. And I want to try more shades of this. This is in cupcake right here. So we're going to put this also into the update. Also, I'm going to be putting in this one. Um, there's about half the product left, but and I love this foundation and it's fun to use. So I've been using this because it's a little bit more lightweight than I like say the Charlotte Tilbury. We're going to put this in as well. And then for sure, I would like to put this into the Project Pan. It's the NARS Laguna. There's really not much. I have hit pan already, but there's definitely a good amount of product on the sides that I'd like to use up. And I just, I really love this actually. This is gonna be a repeat purchase, but I wanna try the Say, like I said, and a couple other bronzers. So I'd like to finish this before I make another purchase. Okay, I'm also really enjoying this Graftobian um, and Midnight Marigold. This is a Carly Bible influenced purchase. And I have used 
maybe a quarter to a third of the product. It's hard to say, but it's really highly pigmented, so it a little goes a long way, and I love using this. So I think I will put this into rotation as well because I think I can definitely empty this by the end of the year. This is one of my summer favorites, and as you can see, I've already hit pan here. So I think I'll definitely be able to use that up. And I also want to use up this Lip Glow Oil from Dior. Um, it's about a quarter done. I have so many hydrating lippies that it's hard to get through any of them, but I like to make a conscious effort of using this. So it's definitely gonna be on top of the drawer here. As you can see, it's, it's just a mess. And then actually, I forgot about this because honestly, this is not my favorite. But because I spent money on it, I want to use up this Refi uh, primer, face primer, especially because I just finished up the e.l.f. putty primer. So this is going to replace that in the rotation. And I think that's all I'm going to focus on, guys, because this is a lot of stuff to use up. And if I can use up even half of what's remaining, I will be really, really happy. Thank you so much for watching the video. I am... Um, going to edit this get this up for you guys as soon as possible i really love makeup and i will always love it and i hope that i will continue to post makeup content especially with my baby brick girl being born and i'm balancing a full-time job look out for vlogs kind of some maybe like baby content a little bit here and there and i'll definitely do like a nursery tour if you guys are interested in that and maybe my postpartum cart set up. Um, I already have the bassinet set up in the back there and we are pretty much ready to go. I have to do a couple laundry loads for baby girl and make sure my hospital bag is completely packed on the day that we head to the hospital, whatever that day is. And that's really it. So thank you so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed. Give this video a like and let's start a discussion in the comments uh, for those that are going to be moms or already moms um, you know comment down below like how your makeup routine has changed um, with a new baby or like while you're pregnant because uh, it'd be fun to chit chat about that so have a great rest of the week and happy summer bye